So now we're ready to install our hardware and put our strings on the console. So uh, for this step, get your 10 zither pins here. You'll need a hammer. And what you need to do is you need to install these so that they sit about 7 eighths of an inch above the surface of the wood. The top of the zither pin sits that high above the surface of the wood. So you can, uh, a couple ways to do this. You can just start your zither pins like this and then take a tuning wrench and, and thread them in until they're that high. Uh, another, what we do here is we have the ZPD, the zither pin device, and it's just a piece of wood with a, a hole in it that goes around the zither pin and then this is 7 eighths of an inch tall. So you can just set this right over the top and it serves as a kind of a stop. Uh, so you, get, you can just pound them in. Another way to do this would be to use an arbor press. If you happen to have that, you can set that. So go ahead and install your zither pins. Thread it in first, 7 eighths of an inch above the surface of the wood. And when you're done with that, uh, come and get me and I'll show you how to put the strings on. Okay? Bye. You've installed all your zither pins now and we're ready to put on some strings. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Now I've already installed a couple strings to get started here and I'll let you watch me install a few more. Um, before you get started you'll want to get your string chart and your strings and you'll want a wire cutter, your tuning wrench, and uh, I use a needle nose pliers and I'll show you why in a bit here. So here's what you want to do. Take your string, and I like to start with the longest strings. Uh, you can start with the shortest if you like, but if you start with the longest, that's good too. So we're going to take the loop end of this string, we're going to put it underneath the bridge, and we're going to pull it up through, and it's this is why I use the needle nose pliers. You could use a screwdriver or an awl or anything that will help you kind of grab this loop, pull it up through. Once you pulled it up behind the bridge, you take the other end of your string, you're going to pull it, put it through the loop. And that's how we fasten these strings to the bridge here. And you can pull it moderately tight and you don't have to worry about where this is sitting in here. You can adjust it uh, a little bit later. So once you've done that, you move up towards the zither pin. And you're going to um, cut this a couple inches past the zither pin. And I would uh, really recommend you take a look at your directions before doing this. There's some nice illustrations that will help you see this a little more clearly. And we'll, we'll do some close-ups here in a second too. So you've cut it a little bit past, then we're going to put it into the zither pin, making sure that we don't leave any pokey ends out here. And we're going to give it about a half a turn, and then we're going to pull it tight. And we'll keep turning, and I like to keep my windings nice and tidy. And just get it a little bit um, taut. Don't have to worry about getting it in tune at this point. And then you can um, slide it into position. And once you get all the strings on, you can um, slide them so that they're evenly spaced down there, just visually. Uh, you can just do that um, visually with your eyes. <laughs> okay, so now we'll we'll do a couple close-ups on what's going on down here and what's going on up here. So this is a little close-up shot of what's going on down here. We take our loop end and we go underneath the bridge and then use some kind of device unless you have really tiny fingers. Pull this through reach down and get the other end of your string and just put it through the loop. And you can just, you don't have to worry about pulling that too tight. Just like that. And then we'll come up here. And cut this about three inches past, two to three inches past. Here's this end sticking out here. We want to pull it just in so it's not sticking out. 
that little pokey end will catch on clothing and skin and that's not good. So you can see how my windings are down here and and then you can just pull it taut. So I'll show you uh, one more time. So again we have our, our loop end here. It goes underneath the bridge. And we take the end of the string through the loop. Whoops! Oopsie daisies. Well, <laughs> somebody's having a rough day. Here we go. that down there and we're gonna come up to here this is probably the trickiest part if you haven't done this before uh, there's a little bit of an art to this here's that end I'm gonna pull it just inside get it about halfway around and then I kink it by pulling it taut and you put this kink in there and um, maybe you can see it against my fingernail it's called a Beckett it has a name a Beckett and we'll put that back in there and I'm using this hand to keep um, tension on the string and help guide the windings so that they stay fairly clean and just, there we go so follow your string chart um, and go ahead and put the rest of the strings on then we'll tune it up